You're in the wrong, so let's just move on. I, I'll argue <laughs> that all night long. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what is the story this evening in terms of one? Uh, this is the uh, 91 Philippe Le Trap. This is the Chapeau Moussigny, Pinot Noir. Red Burgundy. Okay. Think of it. Um. I get like burned brown sugar on the nose. I am so glad you said that. Is that what you get? No, but I think it's very similar. <laughs> What do you get, Thomas? And awesome. I haven't tasted this wine. I know you guys have been sitting here drinking it. And I started to say something and you shut me up. Oh, so, I'm sorry. So I said I had, said I had to keep it raw. <laughs> I get, and I've had this, and I've come to recognize this, and I'm interested to see if it's true. I get the soy sauce. Mm. Oh, yeah. Soy sauce on the Oh, yeah. It's got huge soy sauce. And I've come to determine from the Hansel Pinot tasting. Oh, yeah. That the soy sauce is actually a little oxidation, so this is probably a little long in the tooth. Yeah, it is. Ah! It's, uh, good what, deduction! Is what I'm, might have been a little past its time. Yep. Open it now day uh, should have been uh, a couple years ago. That's right, because but this is. Not that it's a... necessarily bad, it's an interesting thing. It is a 91. Right. And so, I mean, it's nice to have a wine that. Maybe it's on the downhill slope, but it gives it a different, uh, a different taste structure. And something that you have, it's hard to appreciate because you don't get it very often. Right. Absolutely. So it's just a wine that's continuing to be on that journey, and it's a little bit further ahead than other wines are. Um, so this is the bottle of wine that we decided to open for, um, open that bottle now, um, sort of deal. So that's that's the wine wow. for this evening. Peter, what do you get on the nose? <laughs> do you get the brown sugar and soy sauce like we got? I, I do get a little bit of the soy. Oh. I get almost a little bit of salt going on. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, just a... Yeah, a little bit of a seawater sort of yep. something going on. Uh, in the mouth, in the finish aspect of it, it's very, very dry. Mm. But I almost get a little bit of bacon. And I get a little bit of, like cooked bacon, you know? Mm -hmm. And I get a little bit of the... Um, like a like a brown sugar mm -hmm. sort of uh, sort of thing going on, not in the sweetness aspect, but right. in the flavor aspect. Wow, wow, that wine has got some punch to it still. I, yes, I, I'm gonna it have does. To, yes, it does. I think the nose lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> nose is lying. That does not. Uh, that's not past its time. I think that the palate is very telling in the fact that it, um, to me, it's, I mean, because I tend to speak more about the texture of the wine as opposed to the flavor of the wine when it comes to the palate. So for me, it, I mean, right away, kind of on the attack, it's very sharp. It's like, I just think of a very sharp note, like if you're reading music, it's just right up there. It's really high, I'm like, wow. But then it um, dissipates, and it's just very interesting how it's, I mean, it's not like a subtle transition. It's kind of like night and day. It's like here and it's gone real quick. So absolutely, but it definitely it's very dry. It is. It's bone dry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, oof, it's dry. Yeah. And uh, I'm happy with it though. I, I, I'm, I'm glad to see that it's not you know uh, vinegar. Or well, and it finishes with a nice it, level of tannin, I think too. You know. Um, it is, and you're right. It's very bright. There's a lot, a lot of, mm -hmm. a lot of fruit in this wine. It's not yeah. beautiful color to it. Gorgeous. Mm. Get that redding brownness from the age mm. you're gonna have, but uh, it's like muddy water except whiny water. Right. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but it works. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm glad that we opened this bottle. So that's really kind of. All right, cheers. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Peter. And Helen. Hey, y'all.